Hi everybody, San Bonani. Welcome to my channel. Like I'm going to turn on the legend on this channel. School of reality TV shows. I'm a celebrity. I'm going to my YouTubers. If it's your first time joining me today and you like my content, do not forget to press the subscribe button. Langezant. And again, if you've been around but you just want to support the channel, there's a like button, there's a thanks button, there's a join button. Press them. It will tell you what to do and also watch some adverts on this video. Listen, you guys. So, Ophelia on Sunday, there's a story that came out on the Sunday World talking about what's really happening in her marriage she was talking about her husband defrauding her but she wasn't talking directly to the newspapers okay there was a source that was speaking for her okay revealing all of these things that happened in a marriage the husband sold the car never gave her the money the husband is not good with money the husband is spending forty-five thousand in rent but two thousand rents and groceries all of that all of that okay sounded very personal and very true because I was like, where do they get all of these details? It must be true. Now she's coming out to say, listen, it wasn't me. I don't care if you have a video, a voice recording, whatever you have, it wasn't me. Okay. So I'm going to read what she's saying, you guys, and you guys can decide if you believe her or not. Okay. I kind of feel like, listen, it's a possibility that she wasn't the one that con uh, conducted the journalist. Okay. But maybe she was like, listen, told me I'm going through a divorce and I really need the public to be on my side on this one. And uh, the way that that can happen is if they know this information here that I've never revealed. So you know what you're going to do now? What you're going to do is take this number. Uh, this is a journalist from the Sunday world. Call them, have a conversation with them. Pretend as if I don't know that you guys are having a conversation. Now, when they call me to ask me if I know anything about it, I'm going to be like, I don't know anything. Tommy was like, Tommy, you know, are you going to pay for the next bill when you go to the club, you know, next time? And she was like, you know, I've got you. You know, you know, 200,000 a month. And it's a little good to 200,000 a month. I've got you. And then the Tommy was like, okay. Cri -cri. That, that's how we got the story on Sunday. But that, that, that's just me. Okay, that's what I think. Faith Gates distances herself from the latest allegations surrounding her failed marriage. It's a story written by Unol Tando Gedeo. Influencer Faith Gates may be giving her fans an inside look into her life following her short-lived marriage on her reality TV show, Her Faith. But that, that has not stopped the stories from crawling out of the woodwork. This is what I don't understand, you guys, because I would think that if you are doing a reality show, that everything that is shocking about your life is going to be coming out through your reality show. You can't be busy with a, a season of your reality show, but over there by the newspapers, we are getting more juicy stuff than we are getting from your reality show. What is even the point of you doing a reality show if you're not giving us the juicy stuff about your life, but we're getting it from the Sunday world, okay? So instead of paying the DSTV, I might as well just go buy the newspapers and get the juicy stuff. I don't get, I never get that when people are on a reality show, but they don't want to really share the reality of their lives. Strangers making headlines this weekend. Um, Tablet's papers released more details about the surrounding, uh, about no strangers making headlines. Sorry, you guys. The, uh, Weekend Tablets paper released more details surrounding Gentis' failed marriage. The reality star on Sunday afternoon addressed the latest reports on her name, making it clear that she would never ever do an interview about her personal life, or nor would she ever take her side of the story to the papers. This is what she said. I would never, she wrote in capital letters, you guys, so you must understand it. Get the picture. I would never never ever ever do an interview about my personal life nor would i ever go to the newspapers to justify or tell my side of this i'm also not to, into the catty fights on social media i'm actually not a social media person to which we would have asked her how are you an influencer that is not into social media but she was like ah it's my social media is my boss I, i'm sure she wrote it and then she deleted it there is really more to life and i respect people have a blessed sunday have faith please catch her faith at half past nine okay so she was promoting her show here in March, the Pisces woman initially rubbished claims that her marriage was on the rocks. This is a very important statement, you guys, because basically what is happening here is that in March, it had already come out that her marriage was on the rocks. And she said she denied it. She was like, no, 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 no. I'm happy here with my husband. I remember the, the, the pictures being, being posted with the baby because she was trying to convince us that she's happy over there by her marriage. So she is somebody that can deny the truth, okay? She's somebody that can deny the truth when it's obvious, okay? So even now, you guys, you can judge for yourself, okay? 
uh, because she's denying that her husband, uh, she's the one that spoke to the journalist. In fact, she's not even denying that, that her husband defrauded her, but she's denying that she's the one that gave that information to the newspapers. So, uh, but the cat eventually got out of the bag and Gatesy uh, confers on her show that she was uh, feeling embarrassed and she was going through a divorce. And I'm sure even now she might be feeling embarrassed. Sunday World reported that Gatesy told associates that her husband, Juzo Njilo, allegedly defrauded her after two, after the two of them walked down the aisle in a wedding of cosmic proportions in Katlehong Township, east of Johannesburg on the 9th of April. Gatesy on the latest uh, season of her reality show has shown the process of moving Moving out, consulting with her lawyers, and working on an amicable co parenting relationship with her ex. Okay, so that is what is happening with Faith Gates. I don't know, you guys, if you believe what she's saying here when she says it just wasn't her. Okay, because basically that's what she is saying. Okay, let's do the second story here. So today is the 8th of uh, November. And it is a Wednesday, and that is the Wednesday that Jube Jube was supposed to appear in court, you guys. Not only was he supposed to appear in court, but a Stop Nonsense uh, was also, the comedian was also supposed to appear in court. Jube Jube is facing charges of R's, the three R's, and Stop Nonsense is uh, facing uh, charges, uh, the AS uh, charge, okay? Because, of course, it is alleged that she he put his hands on his woman, okay? I guess it's not as funny to be, you know, you don't laugh as much when you're in a relationship with a comedian. It's a whole other story. Because <laughs> I would be thinking that if you're dating a comedian, you, you know, before you even go to bed, you know, he, he does, you know, he does a thing for you, you know, just in just in 15 minutes of comedy show. <laughs> In the morning, good morning, and then there's a session in Ishege, and then you know, but I, apparently it's not like that. Okay, Peter Matsebula writes the story for Daily Sign. It says Jup Jup uh, to appear in court after the TV host made a brief appearance in the Johannesburg Magistrate Court on Thursday, the 24th of August. Listen, I was looking for an article where it was talking about what happened in court today, and I didn't find it, but maybe later on I'll find it and then I'll update you. The musician whose real name is Molemo Maro Hainye faces charges of RAP. E attempted murder and AS. Okay, the matter was postponed to Wednesday, the 8th of November, which is today, after his lawyer Terence Baloyi asked for an uh, adjournment so he could consult and study the docket further. And I, I mean, I think he's had enough time to study the docket. 24 August, September, October, it's November now. Oh, that's enough time. Okay. In July, the Uya Jola Nanan presenter was released on bail on 10,000, uh, on bail of 10,000 rand. This is after he handed himself to the Brixton police station. Some of his bail uh, conditions included that he should not communicate with the victims or uh, attempt to contact the complainant. Jup Jup was also uh, told to leave his passport with the investigative officer. He was also told that he did not, if he did not comply with the conditions, he would be sent back to jail. And listen, I don't think Jup Jup wants to go back to jail. He's already had that experience. You know, he had enough of it. And I don't think that he's going to do anything to go back there. Gauteng National Prosecuting Authority, Pindim Jonondwane, a spokeswoman, said that uh, the first case against Chup Chup was opened in Feb 2022, and uh, there are three complainants. Meanwhile, the comedian Tumi Matila, who stopped nonsense, uh, assault case will take place on Wednesday, the 8th of November, after it was postponed uh, on October the 12th. Okay, it's also today. The 31 year old will appear in Randberg Magistrate Courts. This is after the prosecutor said. The case uh, was postponed for further investigations. He was arrested in Honeydew Police Station on Tuesday, the 7th of August. The comedian allegedly asked his girlfriend, Tando Gemane, on her, and her friend, Tulufelo Hotsmoto. In August, the Jobek based comedian was released on 2000 rents bail. The comedian was then released uh, because both complainants, both complaints did not oppose bail. The state prosecution said this bail condition still, his bail condition still stands as they are. 
guys will be funny nonsense la. the state prosecutor said that his bail conditions still stand as they are and he must not be in contact with the complainant or communicate with them she said the comedian must not be seen around their workplace or home he must also not reach out to them via social media platforms or harass them if the comedian is found to have broken these rules he will be taken back to jail and his bail conditions will be provoked again as he did not comply with the law he was also served with the protection order from the complainants his girlfriend tando and her friend to okay so that is what is going on so maybe later on today we will find out you see but a court hey this year i'm a celebrities and court you know same whatsapp group anyway thank you so much for watching this video you guys like the video before you want to share it with your friends with your family and even with strangers in tanda cool